Hey guys, this is the Tunator, and today I will be showing you how to marry Lydia, the player companion you get as part of the main quest in Skyrim. Now, just a quick note before we begin, this will only work for PC users, as I believe uh, anyone's supposed to be able to marry her, but uh, the problem is that it, it's bugged right now, so that uh, it doesn't work. You should be able to just right as you get her as a companion for whatever reason, but, uh, but for whatever reason, it's not working. And yeah, so I saw a lot of people online asking about this, so I figured uh, I'd do a video about it. Uh, credit goes to the Skyrim wiki uh, for this information. I didn't discover this myself, just figured I'd make a video so uh, more people are aware of the fix to this. And again, this will only work on PC because it requires the use of console commands. So it's only going to work on PC. I anticipate that Bethesda will patch this, but uh, we will see. So anyways, what you need to do is, like I said, you need to use console commands to just... Uh, I do not believe you need to have Lydia currently hired as a companion to do this, so you just uh, select her, and that's her code, uh, is 000A2C94, uh, so you select her, or you just type in PRID 000A2C94, that's PRID 000A2C94, and that, that'll select her if she's not already selected, and then what you do is, uh, what you need to add her to the uh, faction of characters that the game uh, recognizes uh, that the player can marry. Basically, the way it works is that everyone in the game is uh, has several factions that, and, and the editor that they belong to that determines like hostility, how they react towards the player, things like that. And in order to marry an NPC, they have to be part of a certain faction, which will trigger the dialogue response. And Lydia is supposed to be part of that faction, but is not right now. So therein lies the problem. So we do PRI or not PRID, sorry, we do add facts and that, that'll add that's the command to add someone to a faction. One nine eight zero nine, which is the code for the player uh marry or the, the faction NBC's player the player can marry. And then one which just uh, is the kind of the the trigger the yes, because every command has a value, you know, like one zero or higher and uh one just means that they're in the faction, zero means they're not. So that will add her to the faction of player marryable. Uh, NBC's, uh, yeah, it's add fac 19809 with her selected, you should be seeing this right here, 000A2C94. Now, uh, you need to make sure you have the Amulet of Mara equipped. This is how you marry people, how you trigger the, uh, response there, and if you don't have it equipped, simply, uh, go to Riften, go to the Temple of Mara, you can buy it there, and then that'll let you marry people. So, uh, again, Riften is in the southeast of the map. Then we just go up and talk to her. Still here. And, uh, she normally, she has an, a normal a response saying, like, oh, is that an amulet of Mara? Uh, which everyone will have indicating that you, you can actually marry them. But since I've already uh, done this with her, like, to test it, uh, for whatever reason, that line of dialogue doesn't play. But you can see that I now have the interested in me, are you dialogue, which is what, what triggers the marriage thing, which I didn't have before. Why wouldn't I be? Are you interested in me? Uh, very cool, very cool. You can say yes, yes I am. Then. Brief as life can be in Skyrim. At least we'll have each other. And you see, uh, what's interesting is that she does in fact have dialogue for this. Like, it exists. It's just the only problem is that, uh, for whatever reason, the game is glitched. So then you just go to Riften. I'll show you. From this point on, uh, it's bit just the standard Marian thing. I just want to show you the, the temple for all those of you who don't know. It may take me a second to find it, because <laughs> I haven't played in a couple of days, but I'm pretty sure I know where it is. And I, th I want to say it's like 200 gold for the amulet. And once you get that, there's a whole bunch of people you can marry. Sorry for the uh, long loading screen. The computer must be feeling particularly slow today. There was a fight down in the Red Wing. The reports are sketchy. Some say it was called. So you're gonna want to go to the back of the town. It looks like Fraps is taking a dump on my FPS. I apologize. And yeah, the temple's right in here. So I just want to show you that you can go. <laughs> Oh, that guy's pretty mad. I want to show you that you can go just all the way through the thing uh, now that you have Lydia. And that, that it will work. And again, it's PC only. You have to use console commands. Only PC can do this. Sorry, console users, but uh. How may I help you, my son? 
it's one of the uh, you ask for one, it's one of the drawbacks and benefits of the PC at the same time. Way more bugs, but uh, way more ability to fix those bugs. So. Indeed. All right, so now let's go back out. Actually, I do wonder uh, what happens if you have her equipped as a companion. But uh, so now we're gonna wait. 12 hours, which... Doo -doo -doo -doo. I might have to dismiss Lydia to get Rika. But anyways, as you can see, uh, all the normal Marion stuff is wor working perfectly with Lydia. She has lines for it, she has dialogue. It's just that for whatever reason, the game is bugged right now, and it doesn't recognize. Alright, so... I'll head back home if you need me. Alright, let's uh, dismiss her and make sure that she's just gonna go here. Oh, but she would have left anyways. Okay, that's cool. Ah, here's the proud groom now. Let's begin the ceremony. It was Mara that first gave birth to all of creation and pledged to watch over us as her children. It is from her love of us that we first learn to love one another. It is from this love that we learn that a life lived alone is no life at all. We gather here today under Mara's loving gaze, to bear witness to the union of two souls in eternal companionship. May they journey forth together in this life and in the next, in prosperity and poverty, and in joy and hardship. Do you agree to be bound together in love, now and forever? I do, now and forever. Do you agree to be bound together in love, now and and forever. Stop Under the way. authority of Mara, the divine of love, I declare this couple to be wed. I present the two of you with these matching rings, blessed by Mara's divine grace. May they protect each of you in your new life together. We're married. I guess we'll need to decide where we're living, won't we? You can always. So yeah, you can see there it is. Uh, she's married. You can now. Uh, <coughs> She now uh, she has all the dialogue for everything. It's just a glitch, so it doesn't work again. Again, the command is add fac one nine eight zero nine one. So yeah, that's how to marry Lydia. Uh, she I mean she's basically a companion, or she's a companion already anyways. So you won't get all the benefits out of uh, marrying her as you might for getting get for marrying someone else who couldn't normally serve as a companion. But if you really want to, that's how you do it. Enjoy. It's uh, actually quite simple to fix, uh, and props to whoever figured that out and put that on the wiki. Uh, really owe you one there. Glad to see the community continues to fix all of Bethesda's bucks. Anyways, yeah, this is the Tuninator. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.